This footage was shot in 1956, and it is the oldest aerial image of Lhasa that we could see at present. In the screen, Lhasa is a small city with simple layout. This footage was shot from the sky in 2004, and Lhasa has become a modern city with intense regional feature. In the distant Ali prefecture, Shichuanhe town, there are modern streets and buildings. The problem of lacking vegetables and fruit no longer exists in common people's life. In the past decades, the social and economic development in Tibet was profound and diversified, and the common people earned genuine benefit from the development. Tandu since the 1960s, manor and natural economy has ended in Tibet, and it has gradually made strides towards a modern market economy since the 1980s. The third industry has become the biggest industry in Tibet. Modern business, tourism, post and communication, restaurant service, culture and entertainment, IT and other new industries are developing at high speed. Especially the tourism industry has injected new vitality into the Tibetan economy. In 2007, the tourists visiting Tibet for the first time exceeded 4 million people. On July 15, 2001, an optical cable was officially opened in Ali, the last area without optical cable in China. That meant a new historical era in Ali. On July 25, 2004, the last manual powered telephone was cancelled in Manjong Hamlet Jiba village, Maidong County, Tibet. On the same day, every village in Tibet could communicate with each other on telephone. Modern technology made Alp not abstract any longer. Even in the most distant hamlet, people can connect the world through telephone or internet. Of all the changes, the most marvelous one is in transportation. On December 25, 1954, the Qinghai Tibet Highway and the Shikan Tibet Highway were open to traffic in Lhasa at the same time. That ended the history that Tibet did not have modern transportation. The Tibetans called the two highways Golden Bridge and Happy Band. On March 1, 1965, the Beijing Chengdu Lhasa Air Route was officially launched. Now, Lhasa has 14 domestic, regional, and international air routes. There are airplanes flying out and home among Lhasa, Beijing, Chengdu, Xi'an, Guangzhou, Kunming, Kathmandu, and other places. In 2006, a new railway appeared in China's map. The 1142-kilometer-long railway started from Gemu in Qinghai province in the east and ended in Lhasa, Tibet in the west, with 965 kilometers paved in plateau as high as over 4,000 meters. The Qinghai Tibet Railway has become the longest and highest highland railway in the world. In the new century, Tibet is building a solid transportation network consisting of highways, railways and aviation, form a safe, expeditious and comprehensive transportation system gradually. In a land that feeds Tibetans generation by generation, life has been greatly changed. In the 1950s, in Tibet, the routine cultivation tools were made of wood. The peasants wore a knife at their waist belt so as to sharpen the wooden cultivation tools once a while after some work. 
they could only gain four or five times the gains compared to the seeds planted in a farmland. In Tibet today, modern farming machines are not rare anymore, and big harvest is no longer merely a wish. The images of peasants and cattlemen are totally changed. Except for working in a farmland, they also work in a variety of transportation, construction, agricultural byproduct processing, folk handiwork, and tourist product producing and distributing. Their business is flourishing, so millionaires are no longer rare in Tibetan villages. Peasant Chunpei Tsaran of Vingspong's village of Shikaza is the first billionaire of Tibet. The people who become rich spend more spare time to enjoy their life. This is a village garden in Tibetan highland, Mingyuan in Dam village, Long County, Ningxi Prefecture. This is the star village of Tibet, Banda village, Ningxi Prefecture. In a village, every house is tidy and nice, and the neighborhood is harmonious. In the very cold pastoral area, lots of cattlemen abandoned traditional working and living methods and started a new life with electricity, water, and a fixed habitation. What I saw for myself was that uh, so much of economic development I could see for myself that uh, people seemed happy enough they were moving about their businesses, whether it was a taxi driver or whether it was a religious person. So they were on the job and uh, people seemed happy. In 2004, the Tibet gross national product reached 34.219 billion yuan, increased by 14% compared to 2006. The living standard of urban area residents are improving continuously. The annual per capita income in urban areas reached 11,131 yuan, which was increased by 24.5% compared to the previous year. The peasants and cattlemen's annual per capita income is 2,788 yuan, which was increased by 14.5% compared to the previous year, and it is 7% more than average standard of China.